Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Ho. For today's video, I'm gonna be going over my fall closet essentials. So basically the items that I tend to reach for the most when building an outfit. Okay, so first category is trench coats, and I have one example here. This one is from Princess Polly. I've had this for two or three years now. It's not too thick, it adds the perfect amount of coverage. This is something that I feel like has never really gone out of trend, so I don't think you'll be wasting your money by investing in one. Before getting into the rest of the video, I want to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Ana Luisa. As you may or may not know, I am an Ana Luisa ambassador, so I got some new pieces, which I'm going to be showing you guys for this month. And if you want to check out Ana Luisa, you can click the link in my description box, and I'll also put a coupon code on the screen right here. So I'm going to show you guys the four pieces that I picked up for this month, but if you're not familiar with Ana Luisa, they are a jewelry brand that carries a ton of different styles at different price points, so there's something for everyone. If you're ever looking for gift options, for someone. I feel like a lot of their pieces make really good gifts. I've gifted some to my sister, my mom. They do have fast shipping and everything comes in little pouches like this. So the first item that I have is the Valerie ring. If you guys watched my last video that I did with Anna Luisa, I picked up a ring and I got the Valerie ring this time to complement the one that I got last time. And I just love the look of both of them together and all rings that I'm wearing right now are Anna Luisa as well as my everyday bracelet stack that you guys probably always see me wearing. Necklace is also Ana Luisa. It's my everyday necklace. And then next up is a necklace, I believe. So this one is called the Maria necklace. It's a 16 inch with a two inch extender. So as I mentioned, the necklace that I'm wearing right now is Ana Luisa. It's just a simple gold chain. And I wanted something that was also simple so I could stack them together without it clashing. Just to know, I do wear my necklace and bracelets in the shower. And personally, I've never had any problems with them tarnishing. Next two items are both earrings and they're actually silver. So this is the first time I've ever tried anything silver from Ana Luisa and I wanted to start collecting more silver earrings. If you guys didn't know, I have a couple of different piercings. I think I have 12. I like to stack up my earrings. So this first one is the Brock's mini silver hoops. And then last but not least, I got the Hannah Lee silver earrings. So these are two different style of earrings. They're a little bit more edgy and I feel like they'd be perfect to stack with the ones that I just showed. And don't forget, if you guys do want to check out Ana Luisa, you guys can click the link in my description box. And thank you again to them for sponsoring today's video. Next up, we have leather jackets. Honestly, this covers a ton of different styles. Leather blazer, leather trench, basic leather jacket, even leather shackets. I like all of them. The one that is my personal favorite, I actually don't have with me to show right now, but it's just a simple oversized black leather jacket. Out of everything in this video, it's my number one must have for fall and winter time. I also have a couple different ones right here. So this is just a faux leather blazer. It's just simple black. And then like I mentioned, another faux leather jacket option. This is more of like a shirt jacket. It. This one is actually from Walmart that I got recently. It was a really good Walmart find. And this one I've had for a while now. It's from Yes Style. And both styles are honestly super similar. It's just like a shacket. I believe the Yes Style one is cheaper, but I think they only come in one size. So that's the only downside. It's a little bit thinner than a full on leather jacket. So I feel like it's really good for transitional leather. In the summertime, I don't really reach for my jeans that often just because it's kind of a thicker material. But in the fall time, I definitely reach for my jeans more often. So I'm gonna show you guys one example of a pair of denim that is my personal favorite. And the way these jeans fit from Abercrombie is like the perfect fit. It's not skinny jean, but it's not ultra baggy. So I like that in between. So this is just one example, but I do think a black flare jean is cute, especially with heeled booties. Next pant category is a pair of faux leather pants. Still a little bit too hot, but I did wear this a ton last fall and I probably will continue to wear something like this this year as well once it starts to get a little bit colder. So this is just one example to show, but you can literally go for any single style, skinny, straight, layered like this one. But I honestly like all different style of leather pants. I personally love a mini skirt boot combo, also with loafers. I like all types of mini skirts, whether that's printed or plain. But if we're focusing on staple pieces, I would say go for a basic black mini skirt. So this is the one that I've had for quite a while now. It goes with pretty much everything. This with tights and some knee-high boots is one of my go-tos for fall. And then the last option I'm just going to show you guys is a cargo style mini skirt. So this, I actually like that it has the belt loops. So those are just couple different options but personally I do like a mini skirt for fall 
So next category is sweaters. I love that sweaters are something that I can wear both from transitional weather all the way to winter. So I can utilize it for multiple months. This is just one example. I got this one last year from Everland. It's just a simple charcoal colored sweater and it's so soft and cozy. Another option, because I know the Everland one is kind of expensive. This is just another plain gray sweater. This one's actually from Walmart. And then I just have a couple of patterned ones. Obviously you don't need these exact ones, but these are just examples. I got this one recently from Urban. It does have a little bit of distressing and I showed this in my fall haul if you guys didn't watch that. Another example from Urban, it's just this olive green one with distressing as well. It's this one from Yes Style, so definitely more affordable than the Urban ones. And then this one I've had for a while from Yes Style and it's just like a really oversized sweater. So those are just examples of some patterned ones I like. I also wanted to mention that if it's still a little bit too warm where you live to pull out an actual chunky sweater, I would probably just go for a cropped version of that or even like they're not cardigans i believe it's like bolero most of my basics like crop tops that type of stuff i can utilize throughout the entire year it doesn't get super cold here as long as i throw on a jacket it does work but the one basic that i do reach for only in the fall and winter time is my mock neck long sleeves and these are just some examples that i have to show they can go underneath a lot of the stuff that i previously showed whether it's the jacket or even the sweater i would say just go for whatever fits within your style so whether you like a more fitted basic or a loose one or cropped non-cropped this is an example that i got last year from Hollister and Hollister actually has some pretty good comfortable basics that aren't too expensive especially because they do a lot of sales these two are really similar kind of like a ribbed slightly thicker material so it adds a little bit of extra warmth compared to just a basic like this that's just a cotton top this is the only item that I feel like is a little bit on the trendier side. I've been seeing a ton of looks on Pinterest with something similar to this. And I think it's really cute for fall, especially that edgy schoolgirl look. I have this one from Aeropostale. I believe this one was $10, but if you don't want to buy this exact one, you can easily just recreate it with an old button up and just cut it with some scissors. First one I have is knee-high boots. There's so many different styles. This is just one example. It's a lug sole boot. I know some of my viewers are still in high school, so I know something like a heel, the stiletto boot will probably be kind of impractical. You probably won't get a lot of use out of it. So I would say something like a lug sole boot like this is definitely practical for everybody, whether you're in college, in high school. But I do still like a heeled boot. I have a couple of different ones that I've tried. I'm 5'2", so my legs are pretty short, so it's really hard to find knee-high boots. But I'll link the exact ones that I like pretty much all of those they are really good length if you have short legs like me the length of the boot is a little bit shorter than all of the other ones I've tried in the past So one other boot category that I wanted to mention is just a lace-up boot that's kind of like an ankle length. I guess it's above an ankle. Basically similar to Doc Martens if that's what you guys like. Personally, I like this one more just because it has a bigger platform and I like the extra height. Because I know these are a little bit on the pricey side, I'll try to find similar versions at different price points and I'll link it in the description box. The last shoe category is loafers and oxfords. I like both. Here's just one example of a platform loafer. And like I mentioned, all of this stuff, you don't need the exact one. I know I tend to go for like super chunky shoes, which is not everybody's style. If I don't want to wear boots, loafers or oxfords are kind of my go-to for fall, especially because I don't wear sneakers that often during fall and winter time. And obviously I'm not wearing sandals. You can play around with little frilly socks, knee-high sheer socks, even leg warmers with the loafers. So those are the three shoes that I would recommend for a fall wardrobe, knee-high boots, lace-up style boots, and oxfords or loafers. One last category, and that's sheer tights, socks, leg warmers, any of that. I feel like those are super fun to play around with. So I think that's all that I have to talk about today. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, you guys can click the link in the description box if you want to check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.